Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and if you are impressed with your USB 3.0 thumb drive that can do read and write speeds of about 50 megabytes to 90 megabytes per second then I have something to show you. This is Patriot Memory's supersonic Magnum USB 3.0 thumb drive and it promises read speeds of up to 250 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 160 megabytes per second. Coupled with the massive 256 gigabyte capacity it is essentially closer to an SSD put into an external enclosure than it is a thumb drive. So let's take a closer look and open this package up and see how it does. The Patriot Supersonic Magnum comes in a blister style packaging. And you pretty much have to take out your knife to open it. It is also available in 64 gigabyte as well as 128 gigabyte capacities. But the 256 gigabyte version has the highest transfer read and write rates. The supersonic Magnum comes with an aluminum body. You see here, even the cap is uh, made of aluminum. It's quite difficult to remove at the beginning. You see there, of course, a bit of effort. Of course, it is quite snug, and you have the USB 3.0 connector at one in the end. And on the opposite end, you have connector for a keychain, so you can attach it. And the supersonic Magnum. Uh, can withstand up to 15 G's of force and as a reference uh, the Apollo 16 upon re-entry was about uh, clocked in at about 7.19 G's so the Patriot Memory Supersonic Magnum can definitely withstand a lot of impact even if you drop it from a uh, from a building here you have the Patriot Memory XT in comparison in size the Supersonic Magnum measures about uh, 0.91 centimeters by 2.69 centimeter by 7.18 centimeters. That's uh, diameter, width, and height. So it's considerably larger, but then again, it uh, pretty much performs like an SSD inside an external enclosure. So. Alright, as you can see, the performance is quite impressive. Uh, it is a lot higher than even the promised 150 megabyte uh, read and 160 megabyte write in uh, Crystal Disk Mark. Uh, we reached what 308 uh, megabyte in read and 180 uh, megabyte in in write. So that is quite impressive. But that's of course tested with the FAT32. Uh, it, uh, when you open the package, it comes pre-formatted in FAT32. Windows won't allow you to format it in FAT32. Under Windows 8, it will uh, by default it will format. Uh, it will give you options for formatting it in XFAT or NTFS. I've also tested the XFAT to see the comparison, uh, the the performance difference. There was a little bit of dip uh, in terms of read speeds. The um, I think it was obvious in AIDA. The uh, the default FAT32 preformatted in AIDA was quite ridiculously impressive at 412 megabyte random read compared to the uh, 300 uh, around 300 plus of uh, of the XFAT. But other than that, the real world transfer was pretty much identical. The write because the write the speeds are are identical in XFAT and and uh, and the FAT32, uh, but. It is again quite impressive. Also, I love the design. It is uh, very sleek. As you can see, it is slimmer than a standard uh, uh, USB drive. This is the Patriot. Uh, uh, this, is the, this is the Supersonic XT USB 3.0 thumb drive. And just look at that thickness there. A difference between the thickness and uh, that quite a bit of a difference uh, allows the allows you to still plug in something when the 
uh, Patriot Memories Supersonic Magnum is right in the back of your motherboard, the USB 3.0, right beside it. That's the, that was my problem with the Supersonic XT, when you plug it in to the back of the motherboard, you can't plug it in another Supersonic XT right beside it. Uh, well, the only clearance issue with that I, I, I've noticed is that it is taller, uh, rather it is wider. See there? So, uh, if you are if you have a, a bank of, uh, of USB ports that are, are kind of uh, horizontal, uh, line like this, and you're, they're right beside each other, then you'll have a clearance issue with that. But that's rare for a front panel anyway. Uh, if, you're, if they're all kind of in a parallel, uh, side by side, you'll have no clearance issue at all because of the uh, the lower profile on the on this side there. That's quite impressive. Also, there is a convenient handle, so it's uh, although it's plastic, I would have figured it did. That is quite durable. Still, even though it's plastic, it's not easily destroyed. And also, the aluminum shell is quite impressive looking. Although there is no LED indicator that I noticed, uh, although I couldn't see the D because I plugged it into the back where I didn't see anything at the bottom. I don't think it lights up at all. But I mean, it's transferring really fast anyway. That's, that's how you know it's working whenever it's transferring something into your computer. So, LED indicator is not really a concern for a drive this size. And you're probably wondering who's going to use a $299.26 gigabyte. Uh, Flash drive? Well, definitely not the mainstream user. First, they can't afford it, and uh, most users who will really benefit from this greatly are people who use, uh, who work with multimedia files, for example, print media and uh, video editors specifically. You don't need to lug lug around a large external drive, or especially if it's a if it's a mechanical drive, it could fail and then you lose your data. If it's an SSD, it's still an SSD size, super five inch with an enclosure. It's still a big, uh, it's still, still big and not as light as the Supersonic Magnum. And the price, although 299 sounds steep, if you if you realize that there aren't that many 256 gigabyte high speed USB thumb drives currently available. In fact, I checked Newegg uh, just before I started this video, and the only other competitor is the Kingston HyperX 256 gigabyte, which promises slower read speeds than even the 250 and 160 megabyte uh, read and write and of course as we know now it is even farther compared to the real result that we're going to get and the Kingston HyperX uh, 256 gigabyte um, thumb drive costs $429 which is $130 more than, to than the $299 Supersonic Patriot Magnum so in a way you are getting a good deal with that that's the lower price uh, so uh, that's pretty much it and the uh, conclusion is that uh, the Supersonic the Patriot Supersonic Magnum USB 3.0 thumb drive deserves the High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award it is our highest award because it not only re uh, reached those transfer rates it obliterated the promised transfer rates. It got a lot higher. Uh, the performance was a lot higher, especially in Windows 8, and uh, it is a lower price than the closest competitor. And also, it just works. It is quite impressive. Uh, the transfer rates, performance, especially with, with real world, I tried transferring HD media files and uh, video files too. So, you really it it takes seconds to transfer it. Uh, of course, there are still limitations with USB technology. Is that you, you you're still gonna wait whenever you're dealing with with tiny uh, lots and lots of tiny files. For our one megabyte folder test, we pretty much have like like around ten thousand files or something in one in one folder. Thousands of files, tiny files in one folder until it reached one gigabyte, and it took two minutes, which is still quite impressive, <laughs> even though uh, it is uh, dealing with lots of my uh, small files. So, uh, if you are a video if you're a video editor you're working with large multimedia files then the USB 3.0 thumb drive from Patriot Memory the supersonic magnum can, is definitely something that you will probably uh, enjoy using a lot more convenient than waiting for an upload to the cloud server or transporting it with traditional external hard drives and it definitely fits in your pocket quite like too and uh, once again this is Ron signing up and you can read the rest of the review clicking on the more info below uh, leave us questions or comments visit us at facebook facebook.com slash hl reviews twitter tweet us at uh, twitter.com slash high tech legion and join our forums at high tech legion.com slash forum and subscribe to this channel for daily updates
So again, this is Ryan, signing out.